So what is the best pre-built gaming PC right now? In this video, we're going to look at my favorite pre-built custom gaming PC right at this moment. Let's get into it. Hey, what's up guys? Hope you're doing fine. In this video, we're going to look at the best pre-built custom gaming PC right now. It comes in at pretty much exactly $800. It features tempered glass, some sweet, well-needed RGB, and honestly, lots of performance for what it cost. Like, honestly, I was surprised when I first saw the full specification of this, which we're going to look at in just a matter of seconds. But before we do that, let's just look at the gaming performance and what you can expect from this $800 machine. So the most common graphics card around the $600 to $900 pricing in the pre-built PC category is the GTX 1060 or the 1660. Now in some cases you can even find the 1660 Ti or the RX 580. That being said, this machine that we are looking at today features the 1660. But to give you guys a bit more context here, I decided to throw in benchmark numbers for the slightly more powerful GTX 1660 Ti also. And by overclocking the 1660 you can actually reach the 1660 ti performance yeah with that said let's kick it off with apex legends which believe it or not is quite demanding when running maxed out now as you can see when comparing the 1660 and the 1660 ti head to head like this we can see that there is about 5 to 10 fps difference between them and this is generally what you can expect in pretty much any game again keep in mind you can always overclock the gtx 1660 and reach the 1660 Ti stock performance if you want to and I linked up a video down below that shows you step by step how to overclock your graphics card safest way possible. Now FF 2018 has a pretty good built in benchmark that gives you a very solid understanding of what you can expect of your system performance like this. As we can see with an average of over 90 FPS the game runs very well. Now Far Cry 5 is known for being very CPU bound and thanks to Intel's high IPC or instruction per cycle yeah i'm going to spoil it right now this pc is fitted with intel's latest ninth generation processor and as you can see we're getting 80 fps on average here which is very nice a shadow of the tomb raider also comes with a very complex benchmark tool and again the system has no problem averaging well over the 60 fps mark now gta 5 is actually one of few games that makes a dip below 60 fps with one percent low at 58 but as we notice here for the the most part we are averaging 85 fps now bf5 or battlefield 5 shows a similar result with one percent low just under 60 with an average of 85 frames per second so with the benchmarks out of the way i mentioned earlier that i think this is good value with that said let's look at the full specifications and what each and every pc part would cost you if we were to build this pc ourselves this machine costs you 800 bucks let's start with the cpu cyber power pc is the company that built this and for the CPU they chose the Intel Core i5-8400F which is part of Intel's latest Coffee Lake architecture with a base clock of 2.9 and boost of 4.1F by the end means that the iGPU or the integrated graphics is inactive and so what this means is that there is no Intel HD graphics on this processor but that won't matter to us since we're gonna be using a dedicated graphics card anyway and if we were to buy this CPU it would cost us around 130 US dollars and right now it's currently on sale with that said speaking of graphics card for the GPU we're getting the brand new 1660 with 6 gigabytes of VRAM this particular card is coming from MSI using the Ventures excess cooler which would cost us around 229 us dollars as for the storage we're getting a 120 western digital green ssd sata 3 plus a one terabyte western digital caviar blue hdd hard drive and both of these are worth around 27 and 45 dollars respectively now as for the ram this is my only complaint really and this is where i kind of feel like they sheeped out in my opinion they went with a single 8 gig stick from the xpg said one series from a data there's nothing wrong with a data obviously would have been greater if they would have went with a dual 4 gigabyte stick instead of just a single 8 gigabyte stick because of the way that the computer works and how the cpu communicate with the system memory you lose a bit of performance running your system in single channel now to be fair you always have the option of getting another 8 gig stick later if you wanted to a single 8 gig stick sets you back at around 35 bucks if you brought it on the market 
Windows 10 64-bit is pre-installed and if we were to buy this the legit way as a good boy yeah it would cost us around $100. For the motherboard, it seems like they're using the ASRock Bazooka B360, nothing to really complain about here. This is a relatively cheap motherboard, coming in around 80 bucks currently. And lastly, for the power supply, they went with the Thermaltake Smart 600 watt power supply with 80 plus white, which is about 86% efficiency or so, and it costs you around 49 bucks on the market. Lastly, we got the case which is made by Cyber Power PC themselves. I think it's called Cyber Power PC on Nixia mid tower gaming case with tempered glass or something and it comes with a total of 4 addressable 120 fans, 3 at the front and another one in the back and this can obviously be addressed in a wide variety of ways with the included remote. Now if I get to guess we, I would probably say around 70 to 80 dollars. You gotta keep in mind it's tempered glass, we got 4 included fans etc. If we were to combine everything, yeah you would give us a grand total of 776 US dollars. So what is the practical benefits with a pre-built machine like this? Well first and foremost you don't have to waste any time building it for yourself right? A cyber power PC also offers one year parts and labor plus free lifetime tech support and just the fact that Summit 1G approves it carries a ton, a ton of weight as well. Now but in all seriousness, well I've been around long enough to spot any major red flags and pre-built PCs used to be such a bad deal but it's actually starting to get a lot better. Many brands would usually ship out on power supply as well as the motherboard as well as cooling and basically only focus on the CPU and the case just to make the appearance as cool looking as they can. I gotta say guys there are still plenty of pre-built systems on Amazon right now that people buy with very sketchy hardware components that I simply would never recommend to anyone. With that said, I didn't think I was gonna say this, but I think this is a good deal. Now I feel like they could have picked a slightly better SSD and went with dual channel, but yeah to be fair, this is $800 and they have basically slapped together a whole PC for you more or less for free and you're paying them like $30 for it. It's a brilliant deal for anyone that don't want to spend any time building their own system and I cannot recommend this PC enough and you find the link down below guys. Now in case you're not from North America, I have also linked up a similar PC if you're from Canada, UK and the rest of Europe and you find those links down below. Now as always guys if you have any questions feel free to let me know in the comments below. I'm gonna do my best to help you guys out. As always I'd love to have you guys on discord. you find a link to the discord server down below also. Now in the meantime feel free to check out either of these two videos for more interesting content.